Welcome back to the Fadili Family YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. And also consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. It is called Fadili Family. You may also consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Subscription is absolutely free of charge. The subscription button is right beneath here. And there is also a post notification bell. The post notification bell should notify you when we have a new video in our channel. So be sure to also turn that button on. And on today's video, as you can see, I'm right in front of our fridge. I will walk you through how I clean our fridge as well as how I organize my fridge. So join me on this exciting video. So on to the cleaning, you will require a bowl of warm water and a soft cloth. Then you will require vinegar. I prefer white vinegar. If you don't have vinegar, you can use lemon water. So I'm pouring just uh, enough amount. I will uh, squeeze out excess water. So I will start by cleaning this part of the fridge, the door. So I had earlier on uh, removed what was in these compartments. This compartment is the tall bottle guard. So on to the next compartment. This is where we put our eggs. to clean these uh, small holes where you will place in your eggs. On to the last compartment. Be mindful about the corners. Give them extra care. Go lower, some of it you have to be on your fours so that you can reach and give it a good clean up. So I had cleaned uh, the lower part of the fridge. This is where we normally put our tomatoes and the capsicum and some of the veggies. So this I had cleaned earlier. So following the same order that I used to clean, I will now dry the little water that has been left. 
So I will use a dry piece of cloth, a kitchen towel in this case. You can also use a kitchen towel. The paper kitchen towel, you will use that as well. And on to this side, uh, we start with the fresh room. So our fridge is clean and we are ready now to organize our food stuff. Huh? So I'll start with this compartment where we put our tall bottles as well as some short ones. So I have some leftover soda. I have some uh, uh, fermented milk or maziwa lala. I have some cooking cream. I have some mayo and uh, some mustard. So this way everything is well displayed. So you're not uh, likely to miss out on something that you're looking for in the fridge. So on to the next compartment where I will put my eggs. So for those of us uh, from Kenya, these are called Kienyeji eggs. So after the eggs, I have my yogurt. I have some more cooking cream. Uh, lactose free milk some of us are lactose intolerant so that makes up for the compartment of the door of the fridge So um, I will start by placing our tomatoes into the big box container. The tomatoes are already cleaned and dried. And when they are cleaned and dried, they are ready to use. So as and when somebody wants to use them, they will just pick and use. So and as you can see, they are a mix of uh, ripe semi-ripe and a 
blend of ripe and semi ripe. So here are our tomatoes, well uh, arranged into this compartment. Placing the capsicum, they are also cleaned and dried, so they are ready to use. So the next grocery item that, sh that I shall put in the fridge are our carrots. So normally we store our carrots having not washed them and we place them inside a nylon bag or a Ziploc bag depending with what you have. So always ensure that your carrots are not washed so that they can stay fresh for longer. So I will place them there. The next item uh, is what we call our dania or coriander. So for the coriander to stay longer also in the fridge, don't wash them. I normally will not wash them. I'll just chop off the the roots, then I will place them in a container with some uh, serviette at the bottom, then also cover the top so that I no moisture gets into the container, and then I will cover the coriander in an airtight container. Of course, when you need to use uh, the coriander, you just remove the portion that you require, and then uh, put them back into the container so those ones stay there so the next item that i shall place in the fridge is some leftover melon which i have covered with the foil paper then i have some mushrooms some button mushrooms which are sealed in a container and uh, with some cling film and i have uh, purple cabbage which i will also place in the fridge to preserve it for longer okay. so the next compartment is the fresh room uh, so in here I will uh, put in uh, our bacon uh, we also have some uh, sausages sausages and lastly, I have some fresh uh, burgers, fresh cut burgers to make uh, beef burgers. So if you're in Kenya, these items you can buy from Farmer's Choice. You would realize that there's a very big price uh, difference if you're to buy them from Farmer's Choice or at the supermarket. The price difference is very, very huge. They are cheaper when you buy them at Farmer's Choice, at the factory. I will walk you through what I have placed in my freezer. I will not get to clean it today. As you can see, most of the items here are frozen. So on the top compartment, we have uh, some chicken. And we have some uh, boiled uh, cereals in these two containers. We have some green vegetables, also frozen some uh, uh, mozzarella cheese that had remains more green vegetables uh, more frozen cereals these ones are frozen we have some beans and these are frozen peas and then we have some meatballs down here then, so at uh, in the freezer at the door we have frozen milk normally would buy it in bulk it's also cheaper when you buy it in bulk so it's frozen and uh, consumed as and when it's required then we have to defrost it so that is all for the freezer compartment the milk side and here we have an assortment of items so let me shut the doors to the fridge
So of course, at the door of our fridge are our lovely family photos, some nice memories that we have captured and used the photos as fridge magnets. I'm not sure you can see all of them, but this is something you can also adopt uh, on your fridge instead of leaving it bare. You can put some family photos to be reminding you of uh, memories that you have captured together. So until our next video, remain blessed, be sure to subscribe and uh, comment and share, share, share this video. Thank you.